Good evening, I'm the Game Tutor, and tonight we're going to be looking at Monomino. Uh, now, this is a puzzle game that's just appeared on Steam. It's an indie game developed by a studio called NYP. Uh, they haven't released anything else. Um, and essentially, I, from the very little I know about the game, uh, it is essentially Lemmings. So we're going to have a look, see if it's any good. Um, and I'm hoping it is, because I haven't. it's been a while since I've had a Lemmings-style experience. Now, obviously going into the first round, first round, first screen, um, you can see it's got this kind of usual three-star system, which means that this is obviously designed to be a mobile game. Um, okay, so let's see how we get on. Oh, okay, so oh, I'm going to drag, I'm going to drag, wait a sec, what am I doing? Okay, so I click, move. And they can go up one space, fine. Okay, so oh, I'm guessing I can speed stuff up with that. Good, so they go up, they're all going to jump in. Bob's your uncle, Charlie's your aunt. Good. So it's a kind of lemmingsy, tetrisy type affair. Okay. Right, so it's pretty easy to begin with. I don't feel like I'm going to lose any. Well, the graphics are quite nice, quite cute and colourful. I'm obviously zooming through this like a pro. I'm just going to have two red blocks now. Okay, so it stopped giving me a guide. Kind of wish this this speed em up thing was a little speedier. Because, hang on, are these people like giving birth to these? Oh, okay, oh okay, they are babies. They're monomino babies. So it's it's the usual story of blocky man meets blocky girl, and then they have babies. Okay, I can't do that. That went wrong. Can I put that back? No. Nope. Okay, so I've got to do them in order. They can't sort of hold in place. Uh, I do that, and then I do that. Oh, actually, wait. Does that work? No. Okay, this is all getting confusing now. There, and... Oh, okay, right. God, this... I'm... Okay. Okay, I'm going to do it now. Three away. Like that. And then like that. There we go. That'll work. Good times. There also appears to be these other icons down which haven't uh, happened yet. So what I think we'll do is, I think we'll have a little break. And um, we'll come back when I'm a bit further in the game. Okay, so I've now got the ability to rotate blocks, which obviously um, adds that extra sort of element of strategy. Uh, this isn't the hardest bit I've ever come across, but, you know, it gives you an idea. See, hopefully, if they continue this twisty, twisty mechanic. Um, where are we? So, one there, one there. Hang on. No. It's not going to work. Okay, I need to pause this and work this out. Oh, I can't do that, that's annoying. So... Okay, they can just fall through. Okay, well let's just wait and do it. Let's just work this out. So, if I need to get these across there, I'm going to need two blocks. Which means I can only have one block here. Which just doesn't seem like enough. Oh, 
Oh, I've got two yellow ones. Okay, that's why. Yeah, I can do it now. That'll do. I was kind of expecting the solution to that to be a little bit more confusing, whereas in reality it was all a bit, um, you could just put any old blocks on and it would have worked. What the hell has happened to this one? This one here is like, oh. Some of them, some of these little monomino things seem to be a bit more special needs than the other ones. Bless him. He's obviously, uh, yeah. Okay, so that went down well. Okay, basically I've just got to stop them falling down in these caverns, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, okay, let's restart that. Okay, put one there, one there, and I've failed that. So that's not going to work. That's it, that's the one. That's what I needed to do. Okay, uh, play a bit more and hopefully I'll come back when we've got access to these little things so I can have a look and see what the extra abilities seem to do. Okay, so welcome back. Um, we've done a few levels now. We're nearly up to level 20. Um, all I will say is that the actual mechanics haven't really changed that much, which is a little bit annoying. I kind of think, you know, I kind of want there to be more by now. Um, but I, I'm still kind of waiting for those big changes. So uh, what do I think of it? Uh, firstly, it's colourful. It's bright. Uh, the music is very, very irritating, um, and I'm hoping that in the later levels it will change, because at the moment it is starting to make my eyes hurt, and my ears hurt, and every bit of me hurt, because it is uh, quite annoying and repetitive, um, which is a shame, um, because, you know, I don't, I don't feel it necessarily needs to be that way. Um, but no, generally, I'm enjoying it, it's a good game. Um, it's got a kind of obviously lemmings cross with tetris -y type feel uh, and I could definitely see this being a big decent game to play on the go So would I suggest jumping in? Um, yeah, I mean if you like this sort of game and you can put up with the sort of cuteness of it all Then I would definitely maybe think about giving it a go. It's not very much it's a couple of pounds um, I would probably check out the mobile version. I think that's probably a little bit more suited playing this on an iPad probably is a little bit more suited to you know playing it in any other way um, so yeah so make sure you leave your comments in the section below uh, and please make sure you check out our steam page where for the whole of next month we are giving away free keys so see you later night night Andy For the next two months on our Steam group, we will be giving away free Steam keys every week exclusive to members. And if you've enjoyed our video, please bookmark our site, thegametutor.co.uk, and come check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Dailymotion.